That's exactly what I meant. I don't know what I'm talking I'm about. All, it's still too early. <laughs> I'm for it. I mean, you keep talking about wanting to increase road course racing in the sport and uh, try to get it on the same level, you know, the mixed thing like IndyCar has. I think this certainly help. And uh, like I said, uh, the thing with the clash is guys are just going for broke and recklessly driving. And I think that's what's causing this. And I think uh, sooner or later that they're not going to learn their lesson. I mean, we keep saying that these guys need to calm down, take it easy a little bit and they won't do it. So uh, I think right now NASCAR is just trying to protect the drivers from themselves at this point. And, uh, Unfortunately, uh, this was the only alternative to be able to do it. Now, granted, it may not be popular with some, but I think it's a di- change for the good. And uh, the drivers, I think, just need to, you know, stop saying, you know, we need to stop this. We need to be a little bit more controlled. We just can't just go for a hole that's only a 1% hole you know, all the time because it's not going to work. I mean, it's trying to get, you know, uh, a bowl through a keyhole. I mean, it's impossible. Matthew Embry, WSVT up in South Bend, our official IndyCar contributor. Matthew, eight days away till we go to, to St. Pete. Where can people find your work at Masterpieces, sir? M-A-T-T-M-B-U-R-Y. And uh, stand by, Steve. Uh, hopefully I'll have that preview to you here in the next couple of days. Sounds good. Thanks, uh, thanks Matthew. Uh, uh, now let's go back to you, uh, Steve. Steve Wilson, our official NASCAR contributor. We talked a little bit about this in our IndyCar segment. Jimmy Johnson on his retirement farewell tour uh, under the radar does an Indy- is doing an IndyCar test in April with McLaren. Coincidence? I don't think so. Hmm. But then that brings up the, the decision with McLaren. Do they want to go with one of the world's greatest drivers ever? Or do they want to go with one of the greatest drivers in America ever and take a chance on a guy who hasn't run open wheel since he was a teenager? What are your thoughts, Jimmy Johnson, uh, doing some IndyCar testing with McLaren? I think it's interesting. I think it's interesting. Anytime that we do see these drivers cross over and do IndyCar or even IndyCar guys that come over to NASCAR because I think it draws a great deal of interest. You see a driver that is arguably either has accomplished more in the modern era than anybody else with seven championships uh, and four of them back to back to back so uh, I think it draws a great deal of interest from IndyCar guys and you know he started you know as you said he's a he started as an open wheel uh, racer to begin with so uh, you may have a lot of those uh, people on that side of the house that you know have followed him to NASCAR and kept up with him here and there over the years and Maybe it'll draw some interest from our side over to IndyCar, and I, I think, you know, really, I think honestly, one of the, one of the things that we're going to have to work together on is that IndyCar and NASCAR are just going to have to, at some point, you know, now that Penske is part of this, I think maybe a wholesale working together uh, at some of these events, doing some more back-to-back events, and maybe start getting more of these drivers that will cross over like this. But as far as, it, as Jimmy is concerned. Um, you know, I think he put it the way that, you know, just last week at Auto Club Speedway, he was, you know, asked about running for the championship. And uh, I think this kind of surmises, you know, what he's doing over there on that side is that he's going to go out there. He's not going to worry about what happens. He's just not going to, he's going to put it all out there and leave it on the line and whatever happens, happens. And I think he's looking at other ways uh, to, to continue his, uh, uh, you know, in motorsports. And we even saw, Jeff Gordon, uh, when he retired, he went and got into a Rolex car and ran, I mean, in an IMSA car and ran the Rolex 24 one year. So, you know, this this is a way for, you know, Jimmy to, to maybe go out there and do some of these things that he hasn't been able to do. Uh, you know, it's tough for, you know, uh, uh, the NASCAR drivers to go out there and then try to run the Indy 500 or really any Indy race to begin with um, because of the way that the schedule is on the Indy car side. So, you know, uh, I know a lot of these drivers want to go on that side, and I think this is an opportunity that even if he doesn't do it this year, then maybe it's something that he's looking at for, for next year when he's no longer driving. Now we're out in the desert uh, today, uh, in, finishing up the West Coast uh, swing, if you will. Uh, Chase Elliott to toss Kyle Busch in the final cup practice uh, So uh, what are your thoughts? Chase Elliott, I still, I, I'm still on that Elliott train. 
Oh uh, yeah, I, I I think you know for him, I think he's 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 going to continue doing what he's doing, and I think for him, uh, Hendrick Motorsports that you know they're putting this program back together, and I think Hendrick for a while there has kind of you know been set to the side that we just talk about Yoga's racing like well every obviously every week, um, and, and quietly quietly you know Chase Elliott and you know now Alex Bowman last week at uh, California uh, are starting to to be part of the conversation more and more often and you know for Chase he's a young guy that that is uh, you know still in the early parts of his career that you know well he won with you year last year but um, you know for him I think he's you know he's he's doing what he needs to do honestly and uh, I think it's better for him that, you know, coming from a name like Elliot, that he doesn't go out there and try and uh, do everything all at once. I don't think that he needs to go out there and try and get people to compare him to his dad. And I think he's setting his own way in the fact of, uh, uh, you know, he he's not out there and maybe not part of that conversation because it takes some of that stress off of him where people aren't looking at him and critiquing him as much as maybe they would if he was part of the conversation every week and, um, there's bright things that come of him, and you know, Elliot is uh, has faced some challenges in the fact that he's just had some very, very bad luck. Uh, you know, going out there and been in the front, and, you know, leading multiple times, and then, you know, just something happens, and um, he, I, he's I, he's going to win some races this year. Which ones he's going to win, I don't know, but you know, Phoenix might be a good way because it fits right into his wheelhouse uh, on you know. Where some of the races that he's already won. Big race at Phoenix uh, to, today, uh, and uh, qualifying coming up here just a little bit later. But on, for Sunday's race at Phoenix, but this is cre- uh, critical for a lot of teams for two important reasons. It's an opportunity for them to race on the track that the, the, the season's championship race uh, will be held later on in the season. And it's the first race in which teams will revert back to the 2018 Aero Package on shorter track and road courses. How 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 much of an impact is that? Well, I I, I think there's two lanes that we're going to go down. One lane is, is that they've reverted back to the 2018 Package, and the racing is better than we saw at Phoenix last year which, uh, you know, a lot of people were highly critical of the fact of the racing that we saw at Phoenix last year, and then it gets put into the as the championship race. So this is going to be a test to see what they've done, if it's going to make a change to the racing out there, uh, I think. But it's also going to start telling the, the tale of the second lane that we're going to go down is that it's going to start telling the tale of when we get to the Richmonds, when we get to the Watkins Glen, Sonomas, et cetera, down the line, uh, what if if this is doing anything to help the racing out there? And I think it's hard to tell right now just from a couple of odd practices or so. Um, we need to get all the cars out there on the field. And uh, I know a lot of people are really enthusiastic about this low downforce package. And, you know, I've said in the past that some of these low downforce packages and well, at Kentucky, I said it at Kentucky a couple of years ago when they tested this before it actually rolled out on a larger scale. That these really low, low downforce packages seem to produce a lot better racing than we've traditionally seen. And um, you know, for for NASCAR to pull the lever, like they said, and go to this package for these races this year shows that they're listening to the fans, they're willing to make the changes where they need to make the changes at and produce better racing and you know i'm i'm hopeful from you know what we've seen in the past that this low low downforce package will produce better racing big news announcement if you will tony stewart returns to nascar racing for one more race uh and that's the xfinity race here in indianapolis on july 4th weekend obviously that's brickyard weekend and I'm glad they moved the date. It's going to be hot as hell again. Uh, but I think this was a good move for NASCAR to move it to the July 4th weekend. But Tony Stewart's going to make an appearance in the Xfinity Series uh, on in July 4th weekend. Hmm. Do you think that Tony Stewart was actually going to go out there and not try and run <laughs> this race after it was announced? Uh, uh, well, you, you, you never know. You never know. So are you, are you saying he's not going to do it? 
No, no, I, I'm just saying that he is. I know he is going to oh, do okay. it. I'm just saying that you know, for for a race like that, that you know, it's obviously something different. It's right there in his backyard, and uh, you know, it, uh, did you? I mean, I'm I'm just you know more rhetorical in the fact of did did you think that he wasn't going to go try and jump on the road course there in Indianapolis and, and <laughs> run it racing? I I I I think it brings you know it brings a lot of excitement to it because you know he is an exciting racer but and uh, whatever happens out there it's going to be a fun time whatever whatever that might be. Maybe we'll get Steve, some more Tony Stewart quotes. Steve, Steve, don't uh, use big words like rhetorical with me. Break down the Phoenix uh, sure. uh, track with us and tell us uh, about the race and, and what can we expect this weekend. Well, as you already went through, then going back to the low load downforce package out there with that about two plus inch spoiler blade on the back, which uh, really is going to make this a little bit tough for their drivers for them out there. Uh, NASCAR has also gone out and put some of the uh, PJ1 out on the racetrack, and for what most people don't know what that is, that's the uh, adhesion that they put onto the track to try and open the lanes up. Uh, get more grip on either the lower lane or higher lane, but Team NASCAR has gone out there and done this on the outer lane to try and get two and three wide racing out there. Um, you get some people above that line where we traditionally see them run below the line there at Phoenix and maybe get them up on the racetrack and get some, uh, you know, get some two and three wide racing out there. So, um, so far I haven't seen too many people go out there and run there, but that's, uh, you know, that's kind of a, uh, you know where we where we've seen practices anyways, and I think once we start getting to the race later today and tomorrow, we'll see some people try and jump up there and see if they can make it work. And um, the third thing this weekend out there is that NASCAR oh Goodyear has bought a softer tire out there. Um, this is something that a lot of people have said you know for years that you know Goodyear is bringing these tires to the racetrack that last an entire fuel line, and if they bought some tires that are a little bit. Uh, softer that fell off a little bit more than the fuel run. It's going to make these cars harder con- harder to to control. Um, so I'm I'm happy to, to that Goodyear is bringing a softer tire out there. Hopefully the fall off will uh, make these cars harder to handle. And I think if you're going to be the re- best race car drivers in the world, you can dr- uh, handle a, a car and manage your tires. And I think that's imperative to a race where we get back to that too. Hey Steve, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and talk for a minute or two. I got a sign for something at the door. <laughs> I apologize. So I, I'm going to be off mic for about uh, two minutes. So just go ahead and just talk. Okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry, buddy. <laughs> just just talk about anything I want to talk about, huh? Talk about anything uh, you want. Know. That's kind of dangerous. Uh, I'll be right okay. back. Anything I want. Nah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And so as as I was kind of saying that you know NASCAR. He's going to bring these soft. Oh, Goodyear is going to bring these soft tires back, and really, I think um, you know we we saw we saw years ago where tires tire management became uh, a part of the race, and we just really haven't seen that in the last couple of years with these harder tires, tires that are lasting, full entire fuel runs, lasting entire stages, like at places like Martinsville and things like that, and. Uh, when the cars kind of get some heat into them, the tires get some heat into them, the track gets some heat into them, and then you've got tires that are, you know, wearing down, they slip and slide around, uh, they become harder to handle, and I think, you know, we really, that's really something that has been, become a lost art uh, when you get to some of these series, and or into the top three series out there, and uh, you know, there's a lot of drivers out there that, that have good tire control that have been around the sport for a long time and can remember tire or tire management, tire control out there. Uh, but you know, the, some of the newer drivers may not may not know what that is, and I think that this makes it for a more exciting race. That when we start uh, getting drivers out there that slip and slide around and get heat into the tires and get heat into the race track. Oh. But, you know, uh, Phoenix this weekend is going to be a very interesting weekend in the fact of you know, we're going to combine all these things together. And uh, I think it's really just a test run to see where we go, not only with this current generation car when we get to places like Phoenix or uh, Martinsville or Watkins Glen and Sonoma, but, you know, maybe this is a test to also see what we can do with the next generation car.